I'm heading out to have a early dinner kind of thing with a friend and it's early. I think it's like almost four. Warm sunny day today in the hood. I didn't mention about the day time the other day. I don't know if you guys heard about it. If you're on social media, you did. And you know, with things like that, I pay attention to how energy is, um, you know, just to see what's up. But I don't like, oh, plan my whole life around these days that people say, oh my goodness, this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen and um, all that stuff. I see what it is for me and I'm not looking at you because I'm driving, but I'm gonna stop taping in a minute because I don't like to drive and tape. But yeah, I don't like uh, put a lot of emphasis on what other people say. I've never been that way. I always read my own energy, read the energy of what's around because I can do that better for myself. And my um, angels and guides want me to do that. They always steer me away from other people's information. It's always been like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, I did notice on the first day of, well, the day out of time, that actual day, I um, was really like tired and just like, I didn't want to do anything. Like, it wasn't like, I don't want to do anything. I can't do anything. It was like, I'm not doing anything today. I didn't feel like it and I just wasn't but I had worked really hard earlier in the week editing that India uh, video that was like a three-day edit so I was tired anyway today was the first day of the new start and I noticed the energy super quiet um, really mellow even around the area I live and just in general I could feel a difference and uh, I felt a big shift later and today even well through the night I worked until 7 in the morning this morning and uh, that's something I used to do a lot and I haven't been able to do it for like a year and um, I did it for the first time last night not to say that's a good thing but it's kind of my norm so I noticed a big difference and I noticed a big, huge shift since last night and today I'm noticing it. So I'm gonna put my phone down and drive to meet my friend. This is the river. I'm just turning my phone. Hopefully you're, you can see some of it. I live on the other side of the river now from where I've always lived before, just right across the bridge. But I need to get back on beach side soon. It's nice over here, but I like it on the other side. Okay, talk to you guys soon. So I'm here beachside and uh, just meeting, like I said, meeting my friend for a quick early dinner. I'm not really that hungry. I don't know, every time I go out I'm never that hungry anyway um, right across the street is the beach so that's cool I'll go over there after probably see a few sights take in the fresh ocean air and then tonight I'm going to be doing the readings on my other channel understanding your life and love so go check it out okay after a lovely lunch Came across the street. This is what's happening over at the beach. Looks like tourist galore here. Having fun. The water's kind of interesting, kind of a high tide. Usually the sand goes way out at this beach. And it's coming all the way up here to this entry. So there's definitely no parking on the beach today. Wow, the weather's nice though. It's like not too hot because it has a nice breeze. I mean, it's it's warm out. It's definitely in the 80s, but the breeze feels good. But look at summer fun. Summer fun for the kids. 
Naked memories, making life memories here. Look at the clouds, so pretty. What a pretty day. It's a nice day to be at the beach. It's a busy at the beach. Birthday parties. They have all this really nice area here. I'd never come. I I won't say I'd never come here. I don't often come here. It's not my scene. You guys know my beach. But this is an awesome play area that the ground underneath that structure is really soft. Kids don't have it hard like they did when we were kids, eh? Wow, the beach is super crowded. Yeah, see, that's, that's why I don't come here. Tourists galore. Welcome to my backyard. I told you in my uh, live stream yesterday, I live in a dead neighborhood. And this is what I was talking about. So literally, this is just steps from my backyard. It's just right across a very small road. So basically from my back deck and my bedroom window is the view of tombstones can't get away from it it's a dead neighborhood so um i haven't been posting anything on youtube about my move and where i moved and what's happening here but on my facebook i often post pictures of my daily walks because it usually includes walking through here and doing a little bit of cleanup because Sometimes people don't get visited for a long time or they cut the grass and things get knocked around. There's a little baby boy who has these little really old toys. I don't think he gets visited. And uh, they always get tossed around. <laughs> so I'm forever fixing his stuff. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to uh, Life as Cindy. And uh, I just finished doing a kind of an intro video for my other channel for the month energy reads. And um, so I was out here doing that. I said, welcome to my office. It's one of my offices. So I thought I would put this in the vlog too. So it's about, whew, it's bug time. That's what it is. It's about bug time. Um, what time is it? It's probably eight o'clock. Warm, humid, and this is the road. So I'm just exiting here. And I had a nice lunch and just catching up on stuff and then did a little shopping and laundry, those kind of things. I'm getting ready to do the energy reads for my other channel. So basically, that's the dead neighborhood and that's where I live. So, um, 
yeah, it's right there. So I just wanted to share that with you. Like, see, it's right there. It's bug time. They're starting to come out and annoy me and bite me. I was getting bit up last night too. So, let's see. Pretty boring backyard, but huge deck. That's the kitchen. Uh, side gate back there. And I think I already showed you the front of the place. So, this is where I'll be for a little while. Don't anticipate um, staying here, but it's what I call home for the moment. And that behind is a garage. That's not a apartment, it's a garage. So this is the deck, nice big deck area. Yeah, where I can sit and have breakfast and look at the graveyard. That's always fun, every day. So I'm safe from the bugs now. What I wanted to ask you is, how many of you lucid dream? Do you know what lucid dreaming is? Lucid, it's, um, lucid dreaming is when you're dreaming, but you're very much aware that you're in a dream state, having an experience. For me, a lot of my dreams I know are other dimensions that are going on that I live in. My soul just travels. The soul never needs to sleep. The body's resting, the soul's doing its thing at night. Yesterday in my live stream, I was talking about be aware of the energies that are around you. So some of that is at night. A lot of things can happen at night. And yesterday in my live stream, I also talked about when I was having a lucid dream, and also feeling an angel next to me in the physical aspect of my life, um, standing next to my bed. So I don't only have lucid dreams, but I have a lot of lucid dreaming going on at the same time, a lot of times where it's a lot of different uh, things. Like I know what's happening, happening in my physical life, even though I'm dreaming, I know, and I can feel the energy and I know what's going on in my dream that I'm lucid dreaming, uh, that I know I'm dreaming and um, aware of the energy and aware of what's going on and aware that I know what's going on in my physical. So there's all of these um, things that play into it. I, like I said, I got, I get a lot of information in my, in my dream state. So it's to me, uh, yeah, sometimes you just have regular dreams, but for me, I have a lot of dreams that are, visiting other uh, lifetimes of myself because I don't necessarily believe in past lives and I will refer to past lives as past lives because people think on a linear term or you know there's time. Um, for me, I believe that everything's happening at the same time because we only have now. And so it's just a matter of being tapped into all of those different dimensions and energies. So that's why I access so many of these things in my awake state, but also in my dream state and in doing a lot of lucid dreaming. I'm going to be leading a spiritual journey in uh, Maui, Hawaii in uh, October. And we are going to focus on getting you to understand how to use your dreams, interpret your dreams, lucid dream will do our best to take you into that state and begin to understand how to sense energy and access information and guidance that you can start experiencing as a regular thing in your life like I do and so that's going to be Part, a big part of the focus of that Maui retreat, although we are going to, of course, be doing a lot of activities on the island because that's all part of it is getting into the energy and working with the energy. But we will have a special focus on dreams, dream interpretation, lucid dreaming, understanding lucid dreaming a lot better so you can start incorporating that into your life. So if that's something you're interested in, send me a message through my website. The link of the website is in the description below and you can just do the contact page and let me know you're interested 
in the Hawaii retreat and we can talk about it. It's in October, so it's a good time to start planning now. And I'm super excited about it because it's going to just, for people that are going, whether they know something about lucid dreaming or you know nothing about it, it's something that will help open your awareness, expand your energy and get you more tapped in to your third eye, being able to sense energy and tap into that whole other part of you that you have access to in a way that it's positive and it's you know sometimes people get scared about it because there's some there can be some scary things if you don't know how to focus your attention correctly so i don't focus on the scary stuff it's out there it does come up from time to time but i teach you ways to use these things in a positive way and to enhance your life so if you're interested in that get with me and i'm going to be talking about lucid dreaming more um, in the days to come so stay tuned for that and this has been pretty much my day i'm going to go do readings for my other channel i'm going to put that link of my other channel in the description below it's called understand your life and love and go over there and please subscribe and um you know, share it with your friends. I'd love help in building that channel up. I'm really excited about being able to share guidance with everybody every month. So um, I'm gonna go do that. You guys have a great day. Just a little short vlog of what was up with Cindy's life today. Hope you guys like it. And I will continue to post videos. So let's get excited. All right, everybody, peace out. Have a great night.